Allergies are a part of child life in the United States today, unfortunately. We know about 8% of American children, by the time they go off to college, carry a diagnosis of food allergy. We know that feeding all different kinds of foods, including common allergens in the beginning of life, tends to downregulate or decrease the risk of food allergies dramatically. For example, when you have food in the tummy, in the gut, those food proteins are exposed to the immune system and a baby's body grows up exposed to them and tolerant to them. We know when we hold off those foods in a baby's diet, they can become sensitized or allergic from different kinds of exposure. In general, you can develop an allergy to any food. In fact, there's more than 200 foods that we know humans are allergic to. But there is a certain subset of foods that tend to be more provoking when it comes to allergies. One food allergy in children is peanut. Peanut's actually not a nut, it's a legume. So there's another legume called soy that's also a common allergy you've likely heard of. Then there's tree nuts. That's things like hazelnut or cashew, pistachio nut or walnut. And then there's things in your kitchen that are pretty common too. Dairy, wheat, and egg. Those are also common allergens in children. And then there's some that are not typically in babies' diets that we think about a lot too. Fish and shellfish are common allergens. And then the last one I like to think about is the number one growing food allergy here in the United States, and that's sesame. The USDA recommends right at four to six months of age that parents not only you know, put in cereal or fruits and vegetables for their baby, but they put in all the common allergens as well. Proteins from fish and shellfish, tree nuts, peanut, egg, dairy. Get all those different ingredients into your baby's diet as you're starting any complementary and solid food. First and foremost, you have to be really intentional about getting these foods in your baby's diet. When it comes to allergens specifically, because they're not typically in baby food, you want to just make sure that you're creating a texture and a consistency that's easy and safe for your baby. So if you're doing baby lead weaning, you're welcome to take some of the early allergen products and roll something soft in it, let your baby chew and eat it that way. And then making sure if you're using things like nuts, or nut butters, that you're just thinning those nut butters to a way that they're not a choking risk. Now, if you're at home and you think your baby might have a reaction, there are two symptoms that a baby will show if they're likely showing a reaction to food. Hives or vomiting, or both, within about minutes to two hours. Remember that almost all babies are healthy when it comes to food allergies. 90 or more percent of babies will never develop an allergy or have any kind of reaction to food. How you feed your baby with all those common allergens in early life will continue to protect them to stay that way.